Hey guys, welcome to Short No Life. So in today's video, we are doing this beautiful set. This is my birthday set. My birthday was last week and I have been going all week long. Um, honestly, I did not get a chance to actually finish this set. It was supposed to be so much more. And I really, I honestly didn't think this video was going to make it because um, I've really been gone, going even today. But I did get a chance to sit down and edit and finally do this voiceover. And I'm so excited to show you guys how I created this set. And these are my bare naked nails. I do have a little bit of product on them from all of those peel off base coat videos that I've done so far. So I do have a base coat on there and a top coat and then some more base coat, which was the peel off base coat. So yeah, lots of products. But um, I'll get that off with the sanding band. So I'm pushing back my cuticles right now with the orange wood stick. I just prefer it right now. Um, the metal one, I always felt like it wasn't doing anything for me. And McCart, when I bought something from McCart, they came with two cuticle pushers, the orange wood stick ones. And I just, I started using them just because they were sitting there. And I realized I actually like these more. So yeah, I just bought a whole bag from Shein and that's just what I've been using lately. And so now I'm just lightly feathering the nails and I'm going up into the cuticle. I've decided to change my cuticle prep again. I feel like I change it all of the time, but I just can't keep, I, I haven't found anything that's like concrete of what I want to do. And so I'm trying to go more towards the young nails of minimum prep because they basically say all you need to do is push back your cuticles and then go around it with the sanding band but I'm also going to go around it with this cuticle bit as well because I honestly don't have the same bits they do and I feel like theirs may be a little bit different than mine so I use what I have and I feel like just going around with the cuticle bit gave me a little bit more assurance that I really did hit back there really really well. But like I said earlier, I did not get to do everything I had planned. Um, this, of course, is a butterfly set. And with that being said, I didn't get to do all of the butterflies I wanted on there. I didn't get to do all of the bling I wanted to do. This was supposed to be a really blingy, girly set. And I didn't get to do any of that. But I'm going to use the LGN Pro tips. And I put it on with that lamp. I just I told you guys I can't film myself putting them on right now. I don't have an extra outlet. So I had to unplug a ring light and I don't want to film with just one ring light because I don't have enough light <laughs> when I do that. But right now I'm cutting these nail tips short because they are super long and I prefer these. I have not found any short tips yet that I would, I love and it's just personal preference. To me, these make the perfect square. They just, they, I don't like C-curve, but they make me like C-curve. Like they give me the perfect shape, I feel like. Like, it's no effort at all to me to get these into the right shape. And again, just personal preference. Also, I have really not been doing my nails. Um, you guys been seeing me do the peel off base coat method nails, I keep calling them. And I really only keep those nails on for a day. And I kind of slapped them together. <laughs> I know if you guys have probably noticed. Like I feel like I, I'm not doing as much as I could. Which is kind of disappointing. But yeah, I just have not been feeling like putting nails on. And I know that's something. I do this every year. Like I go through a long period of time where I'm like, you know what? Creatively, I don't know what to do with my nails. So I just take a break. Just breathe figure out what I can do with my nails and then I come back and then all of these ideas just start flowing and I'm so excited and like when I say I have so many ideas right now especially for Halloween which I am not even a Halloween person but like I have so many themed sets that I am excited to do and Halloween is kind of weird too for me on YouTube because last year I did Halloween and then fall 
but I noticed some people did fall Halloween, fall in Halloween, and then fall again. And I was like, okay, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, but I think I'm going to follow my same format and do Halloween again and then fall. And I'm just rambling through all of this, but it's kind of self-explanatory. You guys see me do this plenty of times where I explained it. But yeah, I don't know how to actually do it um, for YouTube, but for me personally, yeah, I'm going to do Halloween and then fall. I feel like that makes the most sense personally for me. But I'm going to actually use the Young Nail System today. I know last time I used the... Well, no, last time I used the Venalisa gel for my villain set. So I just cut off a bunch of <laughs> me just rambling. So I'm just going to tell you guys what I'm doing because I really was not even telling you what I was doing. But this is just some base coat from Young Nails and I'm just scrubbing it into the nails. If you can see it, I'm going like doing jagged motions to scrub it in the nail. A lot of people recommend that you scrub the base coat in because that helps with adhesion. And again, I want these to stay. <laughs> I want these to last for a full two weeks. So I'm trying to get as much good adhesion as I can. <laughs> that's not what I was trying to say, but that's what came out. And now I'm just building up the pinky and I do a slip layer. I put my product down the middle and then I feather that to the sides. And once I get it close to where I want it, because I never get 100% where I want it, I cure it. And I do have a little bit on my skin if you just saw it, and I'll wipe it off in a second. And then once it's cured, I do another slip layer and I cure for about 15 to 20 seconds. And then I do a bigger bead and I pull it down. And to be honest, I probably could do this in a one bead method, but for me, I feel like I have more control with two beads. And so I prefer it for right now, but yeah, I eventually do want to go to a one bead because my nails are so short. I feel like I could do that. And but for right now, it doesn't bother me because I am an over fowler and I sometimes I just go a little ham on one side <laughs> and I just need to um, even it out and I have enough product where I can even it out without feeling like it's going to break. So sometimes being heavy handed with the product works for me. But yeah, I do file a lot more because of this, but it's fine because for right now it is working for me, but eventually I will change up my process a little bit. And here is the rest of my rambling voiceover. And I just built up all of these nails. And, I, and I'm and i just going to do a thin layer on this ring. Because I did not know if I was going to like the design on this ring finger. To be honest. But I'm wiping off the tacky layer. But if you are new here. I don't like coloring in my cuticles. And I feel like I say that all the time. But it is true. It messes with me so much sometimes and I never know when it's going to be like, okay, you need to literally take this off right now. You cannot stand this. Take it off because I've had that happen plenty of times. But with this, I didn't have that feeling, but I just want to make sure just in case I decided to file it off, I didn't wasn't going to go to my nail. So it is very bumpy and uneven, but I knew that would be fine because um, once I encapsulated it, you wouldn't be able to tell. But I'm going to use this net. And um, it didn't bother me today, to be honest. But I wasn't in love with it as like I'm usually in love with the, my nails. Like I love it on the practice hand. I think this is so cute when I do, have done this on the practice hand. But on my own personal hand, it's not my favorite. <laughs> but I did like it. I've gotten so many compliments on that nail. And I did put base gel under there, but if you do this, you want to make sure you put as thin of a layer as possible because when you press down, that gel does seep to the side of your nail and it could cure that way on your skin and you really don't want to have cured gel on your skin. So I cut the excess off camera and I'm going to be honest, I can't see anything when I'm building this nail. And I know I say that a lot, but for to build up this black nail, you literally cannot see anything. Sometimes when you turn your nail sideways, you can at least see a little bit of gel. But for this nail, 
<laughs> no, this was a blind nail feel. Like, I just couldn't see anything. And so now I'm just shaping up the rest of the nails. Well, I'm just shaping up my pointer on today's video. I was trying to cut this this video as short as I could, but it still ended up a little bit long. But I do the sides first and then I get my drill bit and I try to file the nails even. And I'm not a nail tech, but my best advice is if you are a beginner is to use a fine or a simple fine to finish file if you're doing gel or poly gel because it files so easily and with the more coarse bit, it's easier to dig into that product and create a divot. So if you have a fine bit, you can still create a divot, but just don't press so hard. You know, it's easy to file. You don't have to be so aggressive, if that makes sense. I hope I explained that correctly. But now I'm just going back over the nail and getting my shape. And I filed the rest off camera, as you can see, and I'm getting rid of all of the dust. Um, that's something new. If you saw that I just used a brush. I've just been into using brushes again because I used to start doing that and then I noticed when I was doing I did the press-ons I've anybody know what I'm talking about I did was selling some press-ons at an expo I was going to and I noticed that every time I was painting layers I just kept seeing so much dust and then I realized that's because I started doing using those little cloths so I've gone back to brushes and now I see little to no dust in my nails again which I'm so happy about and I just put a base coat on all of the nails simply because I have so much base coat and the only way I'm going to get rid of it is if I use it. So what I did for these nails, I cured it and then I put another base coat onto this nail. And that's what's giving this nail polish that blooming effect because my blooming gel is not working for me. I know I say that a lot, <laughs> but eventually I will get to some new blooming gel. But I love the effect it gave. I thought it was so cute. And so I did cure that nail because I didn't want it to keep blooming. And then I created this leaf fringe on this pointer. And I don't know. I am obsessed with V fringes. Like if you watched my last reveal, you would see that I was obsessed with these like almost small smile lines. Like they really weren't smile lines. They were more straight across almost. And I was just obsessed with those for a long time. But right now I'm just in the V French mood. So yeah, I've been doing this a lot lately and I love it. I think it's so cute every time I do it. And it just, to me, just makes the nails look so cute. I do want to also get into a deep smile line. More just doing that because I don't do it at all. I just, I want to get good at that. But right now I am just filling in this nail. Um, I told you guys I filed a little bit too much of the product or I don't know if I said it in this video <laughs> I've done this voiceover a few times, but I did file a little bit of that silver off So I was just trying to incorporate some black around it to make it look like it was intentional Which it did you cannot tell that I messed up like that and I did do two coats of just going around the nail I really didn't have to fill in the entire nail at all and then I did a V French as well to the pinky. Now I'm going to shiny top coat everything. And I want to say that once I top coat that ring finger, um, it has a little bit of texture from that netting. Like I, when I shaved down the nail, I think I went down too far because I didn't have it on the edge. So a little bit was sticking up. So I'm just going to buff it and try to get as much of it off the nail as I can. And then I want to top coat it again. And I can't feel it because beforehand I did, I was able to feel it. But at that point, I had think I got all of it off. And this is where I forgot to press record. And I was so upset. But this long, I got a teardrop as the body. I think there's a flame as the top wing. And I don't, I get the teardrop and whatever this shape is. I think they're the same thing. But I know they're not. And I know it's not an oval. Is it, a, I think it's a pair. I gotta get my shapes together but yeah I did that size as the bottom wing and then I did a SS for it to go around all of the the two diamonds on the side and now I'm just putting caviar beads on my nail because I just could not have not have caviar beads and I did put all of this in the LGN Pro 
rhinestone gel because I didn't want to have the top coat again. And then I decided to draw this the antler of the butterfly. And off camera, I did top coat this after this cured as well. But I don't know. I just couldn't have the butterfly without the little antenna thing. <laughs> And so now I'm wiping everything off with some alcohol, trying to make those rhinestones shiny and just get rid of dust. Now I'm also going to cuticle oil up my hands and then I might have to re-wipe the nails down with some alcohol. I don't know why I did that first, but this is the result and I love them. And of course, like I said earlier, this was supposed to be more blingy, but I waited to the last minute. So I didn't get a chance to do everything that was supposed to be done, but this is so cute. And I'm gonna be honest, I did take off that rhinestone nail the next day because I just, I didn't feel it properly and it was getting caught in my hair, but I will do it again and do it correctly. But thank you guys for joining me. Please ignore my other hand. I did not get a chance to film it, but thank you for joining me. I do new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I want you guys to have an amazing day. Bye.